Hey guys, it's David, and I'm going to be doing a video on jailbreaking the new 3.1 firmware for the iPhone 3G, 3GS, and iPod Touch 1st and 2nd Gen. And we're going to go down to the downgrading topic. Uh, if you're at 3.1, you have to go back to 3.0, and I'm going to tell you how. And um, pretty much we're going to uh, tell you about the fix for the 1600 era, and D7 pretty much covers that in his video. And thanks to D7, this whole thing couldn't be done possible. So I want to give a shout out to him, and I'll be using the links he has in uh, that for his jailbreak video. And I want to do a shout out, and you guys should subscribe to him if you probably haven't. You guys sh really should. All his videos are pretty cool, and every single one of them is worth checking out. So thanks to D7 on this, and we're gonna get into uh, the downgrading topic. Okay guys, um, we're going to talk about downgrading. Now, um, this is an iPod Touch second generation, and it was stuck at 3.1. So, thanks to D7, I ended up getting it back down to 3.0. This is actually my brother's iTouch, and we're going to be using this for the video. Now, what you're going to have to do is, um, if you remember how you jailbreak with 3.0, you use um, Red Snow and 3.0 framework. Um, I'll provide links for that in case uh, for the downgrading method and first of all what you're gonna have to do is um, make sure you have the framework saved the 3.0 framework and you also have um, the red snow tool what you're gonna do is end up putting it in DFU mode by connecting to iTunes and you're gonna hold um, the home and the lock button down and wait for the first chime then let go of the lock button and hold home and wait for the second chime. So just keep on holding home and now you're officially in recovery mode. Okay? So in order to downgrade, you just select your framework. Um, hold shift, left click, and then you're pretty much going to want to pick... Um, iPod Touch 3.0, the one I have highlighted here, and then that'll restore you to the 3.0 firmware. And then once you're at the 3.0 firmware, you go with um, Red Snow and you follow the jailbreak with that, and then um, that's and then it should work, and that's how you successfully downgrade to 3.0 and jailbreak with 3.0, and then you're pretty much ready to install. 3.1 with a jailbreak and that avoids the 1600 error. So I like to thank D7 again for that one. Okay guys, after you downgrade and you jailbreak to 3.0, uh, this is what we're gonna do. So you're, you're jailbroken at 3.0, you're running 3.0 and you have an eye to second gen. We're gonna we're gonna start the jailbreak now. So make sure you're in iTunes. Um, you go to Shift, uh, Shift left click and restore, and pick your firmware. We're gonna go with 3.1 custom restore. Okay, now we're extracting software, and this is gonna start the jailbreak. So we're gonna end up having Cydia and IC running 3.1 the newest firmware. Okay, now we're preparing for restore. And looks like all is going well. So, um, just to let you know that we're not doing an unlock. This is for the 3G and 3GS and pretty much the iTouch first and second generation. So it looks like it's working well on the second generation. As you see the pineapple boot screen. And we're preparing for restore. And um, later, I'm going to do it on my um, 3G. But I also heard that there's errors with, uh, from if you're using AT&T, like um, bad signal. And just, I'm pretty much going to do a tutorial how mm -hmm. to fix that. So I'm going to see how that goes mm -hmm. uh, before I end up doing it for the 3G. Okay, and it looks like this is going very well. So... Uh, as soon as it's done, I'm going to get back to you guys, and we'll see how it works. Okay guys, looks like it finished. 
And um, I did run into a problem. The first problem was I had an older version of iTunes. And with the older version of iTunes, it gave me the 1600 error. So make sure you're running the latest version of iTunes before you even begin. Okay, so you must have the latest version of iTunes. And looks like it's going good. So this should take about another two minutes to boot. And I'll show you that I have Cydia and IC and how good it works. So looks like iTunes is doing its job. And here we go. So we have IC, Cydia, and I'm going to go to settings to prove it. General, about, and you can see we're running 3.0.1 and we're jailbroken. So thanks to D7 for the um, firmwares and uh, just go to more info and you'll get all the links for the firmwares and stuff. So um, hope you guys liked the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.